Shut up, y'all. Good morning, no everyone. Yes, Shut Up is here today. I feel super old. <laughs> we have someone in the studio that we actually did a music video 20 years ago. I'm working here. Brad Austin, Brad Bale. He's here this morning. We'll introduce the whole band in just a moment, but JC, please behave. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's a. <laughs> Good morning, I'm Jamie Cooper. That's like stopping Corona. <laughs> yeah. Good morning, I'm Jamie Cooper. This is Athens in the AM. Kind of a special edition today. We got the yeah. River Benders in here. Well, I didn't know what a River Bender is, but that's them right there. <laughs> y'all may remember that music video. We're going to get a shot of y'all in just a second of it because it has to be about me to begin with. That, there they are right there. Wave your hand, Brad. It's always on. Yeah, right there. It always has been. It always has been. He is the star. He, well, he thought he was going to be the star of that music video. Nobody paid attention to the song. They just want to see Gloria come out that red bathing suit on. Stop it. Like I told you, everybody, she didn't want to wear it this morning, so I've got it on. <laughs> I'll show it to y'all later. We don't want to see it. I can't wait. We've got a lot of to talk about that. We're honored to have them in here this morning. We're going to hear several songs from them as we get good. But before I forget it, let's go mm, to the weather. Let's do the weather. Are you sick of rain? Don't get too excited just yet. 58, 59 degrees out there this morning. It really does feel good. The moon has been absolutely beautiful, although I know that moon messes many of you up out there. But today, as far as the rain, the little thunderstorms that we had yesterday, not bad at all. Today, 75 for your high, and yes, we do have rain in the forecast. Just get used to it for several days. There are the temperatures, though, the not bad. It sure has. Everything's going to be blooming, looking beautiful. Don't forget, check out twohempgirls.com, and also, if you're looking to purchase a house, be sure to go to savewithgloria.com, get pre-qualified. You'll be so glad that you did. Man, we need to do another music video. Joseph, how was it over there? We'll talk to you later about everything that happened over at UNA last week. You weekend. know, I don't know why I've waited so long to go to that festival. It was fantastic. You know, Gloria's music video and Brad won. Brad did that win the top prize over there. And they told me it did about 10 years after. Uh, yeah, we, that's what we did. <laughs> <laughs> Some little snippets then we'll talk to Brandon a little bit too, but honored to have them in here for around Tennessee. Well, shut up, what's up? Nothing much, man. Just trying to stay. So how's the toilet paper industry going in North Alabama right now? There's no toilet. You might as well use a bidet at your faucet out of your bathtub. Because <laughs> oh, right. there ain't no toilet paper left. Everybody's stocking up. Oh. People are panicking. Oh, my God. Don't Great, what's up? Anything particular we need to know about that you hadn't told us about yet? Yeah, yeah, sports is dead. Sports yeah, is sports dead. Is dead. Yeah. Gives up the there. day the sports yeah. died. <laughs> No, just wash your hands. You know. Be careful if you're sick, stay at home. Miss Bob. Dr. White, now what are you going to talk about later this morning? I'm talking about Alzheimer's and the COVID-19 coronavirus. It's very important. About what? Uh, the coronavirus and Alzheimer's. You would think being made in China, you would think being made in China, it would, it would only last two weeks like everything else I get from China. That's a little point. I want to do a political question first, Greg. You oh probably know goodness. the answer to this. Who has Donald Trump come out and endorsed for U.S. Senate? Tommy Tommy Tuberville. And right now, polls indicate that Tuberville has got a double-digit lead over really? Sessions. Answer this question. It won't be a Judge James, this question. He still lives in Florida. No, hey, I, 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 oh, Jack. Oh, so I, got, I got an answer on that question. Zach, there, what are the qualifications to become a U.S. Senator in Alabama? You have to live here one day. One day, and yeah. you're 30 years old. You can't burn the french fries. You can't burn the french fries at McDonald's. Yeah. Hey, I got an answer to that. Well, hold it, Zach. Calm down, everyone. Let's go to sports now with Zach, because <laughs> he's over there amongst the band this morning. So let's see what Zach has got to say. Hey, welcome to ZTV 11 Sports, brought to you by All Star Plumbers. For all your plumbing needs, go to All Star Plumbers. And also, Applebee's Tailgate Talk, 10 to 12 every Saturday morning on the Big 1080 WKC, where we'll be live from the Chili Challenge this Saturday. Who's the judge? Hey, I will be judging that chili, so bring it hot. Hot and spicy. Who's doing That's the, the way I like special it. on it again this year? It will be Gloria doing a special on it. Uh, <laughs> Cooper and Company will be and, doing a special. And her bikini? No. And Brad will be producing it. It's and retired. Y'all be watching it, so y'all Hopefully somebody brings some Tums, because I might need that to try out some. all that chili. They provide it. So, hey, that'd be good. Mm -hmm. Hey, before I do the sports, everybody's asking about, you know, about t that commercial, Jeff Sessions running, about Tommy Tuberville living in Florida. I, I went to the source, Jamie. Who would know about Tommy Tuberville more than Stan McDonald? 
So I went to stay, me and Jay were talking about that. And this is what Stan McDonald's response. He has maintained a house in Auburn, even while coaching other places upon leaving Cincinnati. They bought a beach house and all that decoration. It's true that when he started to get serious about public service, he switched a few things back to Alabama voting registration. But the family has considered Alabama home base. How long is this going to take? I'm this just saying this that that's what he's doing. So, of course, Jeff says we're getting political. Who cares? I'm just saying. I'm uh, saying Trump, Trump, uh, There's nothing to put him out. So, oh, Jeff Sessions ain't got a shot. I'm just saying. <laughs> well, quit saying. In sports. <laughs> I'm just saying, Gloria. Quit Gloria. saying. Just saying the coronavirus has hit the SEC sports world. NBA, NBA suspended. Rudy Gobert was tested positive, so they have suspended the NBA. The SEC, is, if they continue the tournament today in Nashville, will play in empty stadiums. So all the Kentucky fans that buy those tickets every year, buddy, they, there will not be any Kentucky fans there, so I know they will be sick to their stomach having not, not getting to see that. So it, it is going crazy, y'all. The uh, Major League Baseball are thinking about moving some of their opening games out of their uh, stadiums. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to be interesting to see what happens in the next few weeks. Oh, is that it? But uh, so that's what's going on, Jamie. And I know it's all about you, so back to you. Yeah, see, anytime he says it, that means it comes back to me. That's his favorite words. Matter of fact, while it's only just talk about me, we got any photographs? Yes, we do. All right, that's me on the right. No. Yeah. Hey, Steve. Yeah. Coach, Coach Hargrove. Steve Hargrove. Coach Hargrove. Yeah, look behind me, 360 Fitness. That's where I got this bod. <laughs> yeah. Coach Hargrove, get here. What's back. next? Oh, funny, Brad. That's me in the middle. Grayson mm -hmm. Bailey. Grayson Bailey's crew, man. They came they over the day. Josh, the they spot. took care of it, put some sod out. Mm -hmm. Right where my dogs have been digging. You got your workout clothes on there, Jamie? I wear them every day. Makes me look. People think I'm in health. They know I'm healthy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. What else we got? Let's be on the right. Charles Morrison, his son Charlie. Fred. Charlie, and we've seen him play basketball. They had a great picture of them in the Decatur Daily winning the area tournament. They didn't even know it existed until I saved it for them and presented it to him at church. <laughs> the yet, dad's though. in the background, the child's up front. They're both celebrating and have the same meeting. look on their face. Oh, it's an awesome What else we got? Anything else will be in? That's me on the right. DB. Me and Dennis Black went to college together. Gats, the state guys, y'all weren't even born in 1972. He's hey, in, did you see his little he's boy in every morning. board with Jerry Hayes? I'm, I, made, I, I made something of myself. <laughs> he's still working in school he's education. He's the principal now, he's at. He's driving no, the he's bus and oh, he's he's No, 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 no. He's driving the bus and an assistant this principal. He's last both. week to drive a bus. Yeah. He said he's going to drive him to school. Where's an assistant principal at? on the right. There's David Lefton. Man, how many pictures we got in there? A bunch of you. Too many. many. What else we got? Gloria, too many. I'm taking them. Let's be on the route. Oh, Alan Whitaker. Whitaker. How about all hey, that? Hey, how much time I spend at the gym? Talking. <laughs> what else we got? When you go to the gym and you talk for huh? 30 minutes, it's not there the same. Yeah. Yeah. He considered it a workout. I, Donnie, I don't know if we got your picture. Not Donnie yeah, was getting don't. a colonoscopy. Yeah. Yeah. He came up to get a picture with me. Oh, with this little oh, outfit on. It was open in the back. Had the colon blow, so. Oh, damn. All right, we're going to talk about coronavirus in just a little bit, too. Apparently, our strain causes diarrhea because everybody's buying all the toilet, toilet paper. paper. Why is that? All right. We're about to rock and roll right now with the Riverbenders live in the studio in Athens, Alabama. Locally loving it. Y'all hang on.
Blurt it out. The handshake is basically dead. Mm. About like sports. <laughs> when was the handshake first invented? Oh. In 1720. Blast from the past. 1200. 1200. George Washington. 865. 865. Yeah. The handshake was invented in many medieval terms. Barry Gibson just walked oh. in. And you never know who's going to come up here and play. <laughs> what are you doing in town? Good to see you, Yeah, we'll check with him in just a moment, too. I thought it was Tommy Tuberville walking in there for a moment. <laughs> so with handshakes dead, Dr. Watt, we're going to a new thing that the Marumi tribe of New Zealand uses. What is it? The elbow. Fist bump. Elbow. Butt bump. Butt bump. Butt bump. Y'all know what it is? The wave. The twerk. Nose to nose. Nose to nose. Worse. That yeah, there's, worse. Yeah, there's a way to spread the virus. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. Hey, you're not things. <laughs> hey, Mammoth Coal Company in Birmingham is going to do a huge deal down that way. What is they're going to hire? There's 11 million right now in uh, taxes is what they're going to be paying. But right now they're doing a $600 million deal on a new underground coal mining facility in Tuscaloosa County. What is the average starting salary of the people hired there? That'd be three or 400 $35 an hour. $41. Okay. $85,000. Oh, that's a year. Oh, I thought you meant a year. An hour. What he said an hour, didn't he? What is the price of a barrel of oil? $85,000. $11. $27. Could be $24. Yeah. Right there. That is good. That's how smart the river benders are in here. That was bathroom reading before we got started. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't have any toilet paper. That's what he was using, the newspaper. <laughs> All right. USA Today had a thing the other day. Expected to be the fastest growing jobs the next 10 years. 
Nursing. Health was oh, yeah. first. <laughs> what was first? Mortuary. CBD. Engineering. A welder. We sell that. Y'all need any? We have the real stuff too. <laughs> <laughs> it's illegal in Alabama. No, we do not have any of that. Oh, it's my don't. business. Don't ruin it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I had some stuff in my pocket. I thought they yeah, might need. You do not. Uh, welders, not at all. Plumbers. Look Engineers. Wrong, wrong, wrong. What? Solar photo. Volunteeric installers. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. I can see that. People, I can see that. The people who install Fancy. solar panels. Yep. There it is right there. Oh, yeah. That's it, right? I thought knitting Hey, by the way, too. you know that guy on the end don't look too smart? You know what he does for a living? I couldn't tell you. <laughs> he turns urine into water for the astronauts at NASA. Yep, and that's why he don't buy any from Publix or anything since they're out. He makes his own we at home. Own we sell it as an energy drink called Me P2. <laughs> 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 I can't find it. Just somebody drank it. <laughs> they got thirsty after the, the store sold out. What is the, what is the biggest problem nowadays with the growing sale of big SUVs like Ford Excursion from Eddie Pruitt Ford or GMC's big long... Size. What? Size of the vehicle. Parking space. Putting them in the garage. Oh, yep. That's the right answer. The garage. What is the average size of a two-car garage? 18, 18 feet, oh, 6 long. inches wide. 18 feet, 6 inches wide. 20 feet wide, 18 feet long. Hmm. I'm the only person in America that parks a Lincoln Aviator and a Hummer in one two-car garage. Yeah, but it's a little bigger than normal. What, my car? Or my no, your garage, is it? <laughs> yes. Ever since he got that dent inside, it fits fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> true. What actor just died over the weekend? Oh, I nice. saw him. Max, I saw that. Max von Sydow yeah. died at age yeah. 90. What movie was he in? Exorcist. Exorcist. Yeah. I knew everybody would know that answer. Y'all ever seen that movie? Good comedy. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Good comedy. Yeah. It's like Deliverance, a good love story, too. Yeah, what? <laughs> it's a religious good movie. Yeah. What other movie was he in that got a lot of fame? Oh, my goodness. Oh, Star Wars. Right? Game of Thrones? Mm, no. um, the Exorcist 2. <laughs> The greatest story ever told. Who did he play? Jesus. Jesus. That's the right oh, answer. Wow. Good job. Really? Because he had those yeah. ice yeah. blue eyes. Wow. I saw it. Yeah. What is, what is the newest thing with peeps for Easter? They, uh, I know you young guys probably eat it. New, like new flavors. Huh? New By the way, that's Brad's son over there on the side, Jackson, right there. Jackson, Jackson the same name as yours. Come on, Jackson, about the same name as yours. Color? Crocs. Now you can get peep crocs for about thirty dollars, oh, and they stay oh. sorted out. Oh really? It's kind of fun. Novelty items. That is funny. USA Today had a thing a couple of days ago. Text etiquette. How long do you respond before you reply on a text? Three seconds. Ten minutes. No. Say two minutes. No, it's I, not. It's not. You, should you respond immediately? Should you wait a day or two? Oh, or no, immediately. Wait immediately. Should you wait a day or two? Immediately. That's not good, Ed. Gloria won't let me. She said, you don't need me. It's just like you got your phone. First you of all, you never even have your phone, so it'd Why be not? good if you responded then, because it, many of you know he don't doesn't know, respond. Don't nobody call me, because I don't want to talk to you. I know. No, I you to, always text me. Y'all know what the meaning of hi-hat is? Hi-hat means when you just... <laughs> Too good to talk to somebody, you know, kind of like uh, about to do y'all. <laughs> <laughs> In texting, guys, here we go around. How many texts a day are sent? Oh, oh heck. Oh. In the a US, trillion. A gazillion. In the US, uh, about, uh, about 100 billion. 3 billion. 6 billion a day. How many are That's in the world? Lot. How many are sent per minute? About 30, uh, one. Uh, Six, only four of those. 600 million. 600 Six, million. 16 million a day or so. Wow. Don't nobody text me right now. My pastor's texting me now. <laughs> All right. That's the easy part. Now we move on to the hard part. Question. Mm, we're ready. President Trump, we already did that. About that. Alabama just had the wettest winter on record. How many mm. inches did we get in February and January? 20. 24. 24 is the right answer. Shut up. You're up on that. That's right. When was the last time we had that much rain? 1860. I'll let you have it. 1895. Nice. All right, this is a sports question, guys. They're ready. They're still sports? It's dead. <laughs> They're saying this girl is ruining 
the sport of golf. Why? She's a 24-year-old, 26-year-old golf, female golfer. Because she's so, she's beautiful. What's the real reason? She wears bikinis, I guess. I, I don't know. <laughs> Her name is Paige Spiraka. Everybody's She's looking 26. at her right She's She is good. racing. They're giving her a hard time because of the tank tops she wears. Get over oh, it. Word. I'm hot right here. It's getting hot in here. <laughs> Take off all my clothes. I am so oh, hot. You think she had to? There's a bunch of good ones on there. Golf since Tiger Woods. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you think you she'd help the sport? You would think. She will. There'll be a lot of guys watching women's sports now. <laughs> <laughs> women golf. Hey, she's ruining the sport. Okay. Yeah. And y'all said sports are dead. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Who is selling the? Coronavirus guaranteed silver solution to kill the disease in 12 hours, and you it boosts your immune system. You apply it to your entire body. Amazon. Go back to some, some, some quack. Uh, who, yeah. Some quack. Yeah, quack. Uh, Joe Biden. Al Gore. Al Gore. That's right. That's what I was of. He invented the internet. A hundred and twenty-five dollars. <laughs> Who is it? Oh, yeah, she said it. Gloria Cooper. Jim Baker, did you say that? Jim Baker. Oh, really? Jim Baker. Oh, that's crazy. What's the newest thing at McDonald's? The newest thing at McDonald's? Corona Burger. That's a good answer. Did you get snored? I was going to serve one up for you. That's a good laugh. I gotta get on time. So it's called Blue right. Burger. Last quote. Well, what is the newest thing at McDonald's? It's a massive makeover. Now, thank Sunday you all for playing, playing worldwide too. Pick up your uh, Judge Jamie games at any uh, participating store. <laughs> Soon to be on Amazon. Yeah. Massive, a four patty double Big Mac. Oh my. Two thousand, three thousand calories. God. No. Seven hundred thirty calories, forty-three grams of fat. That don't make oh, sense. No. There's more than that because the, the Whopper itself, I mean, the, the, the Big Mac itself Somebody is like 400. 900. Big Mac invented? 1968. 72. But you have 67. Mm -hmm. They also have a Little Mac that only comes with one patty. That's called a hamburger. Call <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah. That's right. Oh, we're, we're on the day over here. This section here's got it going on. I'm going to let y'all slide to anything else because I need to catch up on time. But thank y'all for playing, guys. We'll set up here some more music for you guys in just a moment. Thank all you people for playing worldwide, too. Y'all hang on. Go Tigers. <laughs> Welcome back. This is just a day from everybody popping in from the past. That's awesome today. We'll talk to Barry hopefully here in a little bit too. Let's quickly go over that forecast. The band is getting ready. 58, 59 degrees. We do, of course, still have rain in the forecast today, tomorrow, and the following day. And just keep an umbrella close. Hopefully it's not a rain out all day long. But temperatures are going to be beautiful. You're going to see highs today of 75. Tomorrow, 62, 67. There it is right there. TwoHempGirls.com. Check out the site. Order those CBD products, and we'll get them out to you within 24, 48 hours. Dr. Jan White with me this morning and kind of need to have a serious discussion or interview here Jan how are you good good yeah what is your topic today it's um the COVID-19 yes. coronavirus and Alzheimer's and caregivers that's a mouthful yeah it is and this is hot off the okay. press I got right. this last night from the Alzheimer's Foundation of America now I want to remind the viewers that I am not a medical doctor I am Dr. White because of my PhD in gerontology, That's so I'm right. an aging expert. But she's also a research expert. Oh, yes, expert. yes. <laughs> so, some interesting things about uh, caregiving for someone with dementia or Alzheimer's. Okay. Okay. Um, 
what we're doing is we're trying to increase hand washing, mm -hmm. but people with Alzheimer's unfortunately have an aversion to water. Uh -oh. And so what they're recommending is that you model. So for example, you go to the faucet and say, okay, first we're going to get some soap and lather our hands Literally and, walk them through and it. you walk them through it step okay. by step okay if you cannot do that then you need to have those wipes or at least as a minimum some okay. of the um, hand, hand sanitizer. sanitizer okay so um, then the other thing they recommend is that you can anticipate as this thing moves through the area mm -hmm. that you will have the respite care facilities closed Ooh. and the daycares closed. Okay, so then your loved one or your family member is at home with you mm -hmm. the whole day. And how many times do, when parents have to go to work, they're sending their kids to their grandparents? You right. Have to be so careful with right. the elderly. So right you now. have to really anticipate that this is going to happen. Okay. And so, therefore, how, how do you help someone with Alzheimer's or dementia stay at home all day? So what they recommend is that you have puzzles and games Keep them and that you have some picture albums and that you can listen to music and put on some music from the era of that person. Mm -hmm. uh, have some older movies to watch and have some tasks to do like folding towels. Oh, okay. Yeah, these Just anything kind of to keep them busy. anything to keep them busy and even like putting socks together. Um, now the other thing is that during this um, time, we need to make sure that all of us are hydrated, but especially for a person with dementia or Alzheimer's, there is an incontinence mm -hmm. issue. Because they don't always remember if they're doing, drinking right. enough. So right, and so it, there's a brain pathway they may not even realize they need to go. So you need to really make sure you have enough incontinence products on hand because don't forget they're not going to be out of the house they're going to be yeah. in the house the whole time so I just checked at 530 on Amazon because I thought well you know there must be a severe shortage there are still in adult incontinence products available and I recommend buying them now if this if you're in this situation you definitely need to be prepared yeah and be just ready. right so stock up and then if there is no crisis then at least you know you have some on supply. You're covered. Right. And if you do have the supplies and someone's short, just go ahead and share with them. Right. Too exactly. And, you know, take care of everybody. Exactly. Don't panic. No. Wash don't panic. Your hands. Please don't. It's amazing. We yeah. have to tell people to wash I their know. hands. Just I know. do it extra more, extra yep. often. Yeah. Extra often. Do it more often. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're good. Thank you, Jan. That's You're very welcome. informative. You can always find Dr. Jan White and check out her blog, her website, and everything as well. I and we'll talk more about that book that she has. I mean, you can find that on Amazon. Getting ready to go over to Jamie to talk with Brad and the band, and we're just glad that they made it this morning. It's your all yours, I'm just trying not to get hit in the head with a guitar over here, so I'm just trying to, don't block me. Whatever you do, Brad, don't block me. All right, okay. Welcome to Athens. It's great to be in Alabama, my home state. Yeah. You were <laughs> raised in the Florence? Tuscumbia. Tuscumbia. Out on Wheeler Mountain in the New Bethel community. All right. Graduate of Colbert Heights High School. Oh, we're going to talk to you more in a minute over on the set about uh, the world-famous video with Gloria 20 years ago. It's hard to believe, it. That is amazing. Introduce you, man. Well, I'm over here to my left, we have Mr. James Kemp on bass guitar. Now, you're a policeman, right? I am uh, part-time. Okay, well, play band part-time, you know. Okay. Whatever pays the bills. Got you. Got you. <laughs> we have Wilson Webster on guitar over here. Hey, Wilson. How are you? Young 24-year-old young buck. Yeah, you know, right. So, and uh, got Mr. Kenny Bell back here on keys. Hey, Kenny. Hey. And back here on drums. Gloria, I'm just going to put it this way to make you feel good. This guy was nine weeks old when we shot our video. This is my son, Jackson Vile, on drums. Jackson, <laughs> did you ever see that music video? I've seen it a number of times. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good video. I have, I have pictures of Jimmy Johnson holding him in the studio when we were working on that project, and I thought that, that that's that's awesome, something yeah. I'm going to pass to him. Yeah. And of course, we'll uh, need to get some of those pictures. You know, Jimmy passed away uh, several yeah, months yeah, ago. Yeah, I was a pallbearer at his yeah. funeral. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Brad, this morning, not Brad Austin, but we'll talk with him a little bit, a little bit later on about the music video and what they're doing now. Here's the Riverbenders live in Athens, Alabama. Hit it, boy. All right, thank you, sir. Do a little perfect world for you here. This is our first music video. We've had uh, great, great luck with it. It's been out about six weeks and it's gotten already 20,000 views, so we're really excited about it. Bring it up, Cease.
here before. That's right. Not and back live ahead. on the big set, a surprise visitor this morning, our old buddy Coach Barry Gibson. Not, How you doing? I guess you call you Coach anymore. Well, that's what everybody, everybody still does. does. Yeah. Yeah. My wife calls me Coach. Really? <laughs> yeah, that's what Robin calls me. How does that right. affect you? <laughs> That's, you know, when you do it for 36 years, I, I don't answer to anything else. Only you know, Jamie just, would think that. Uh, that's right. They that's come. right. And Doing Brad's well. in here too. Brad <laughs> fell in the music video with Brad Austin. Joseph, yes. you just got back from UNA. Well, yep. right, that video, as a matter of fact, talking about our good friend Danny Vincent, won, I think in 2000, I think we did the video. Brad, roll a little bit of that video where we can see some of it here. Now, Brad, uh, what, was it, uh, what was the name of the song? You Need a Rock. You Need a, you rock. Need a rock. Yes. Right. You ever sing that anymore? You know what? I do get requests for it, and uh, I actually co-wrote that with Barry Billings uh, over in the Shoals. And, uh, yeah, 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 man. Yeah, there you, there you are. Right. You still see, guys, I told you I didn't always yeah. have wrinkles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what was this all about? I'm just look, always finding love in the wrong places, I guess. That's you say. it. That's I need a it. good, solid foundation That's of a man. The thing about it, we had to shoot in a furniture <laughs> store at night. We got overhead ladders in there, overhead the cameras bedrooms. looking down. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Blurry in a convertible Mustang. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. we borrowed that from Richard Thigpen over there. You haven't way. aged. How's that happen? She hasn't aged. Oh, yeah. yes, I have. Since 20 years ago. <laughs> yeah, you can yeah. stop it there, Brad. Cue it up to the, <laughs> cue it up to the favorite scene if I'll we want to see it in a few minutes. You know, Jamie, I guess you, you asked that question about what was the <clears> meaning <throat> of it. Is you need a rock, not a rolling stone. So no. I guess that says a lot about him, it does, doesn't it? I think the song made a lot of sense. Three days shooting, about eight hours a day for me, and I know what, yep. much more. And I, the funny thing about it is, uh, we, never, we looked so close, and I saw her one time, and it, we, we fit, what, I, what cracked me up the the scene in the house, uh, the cabin was done at uh, Melinda and Bubba. Uh, Melinda Olive, who was uh, in high school, a friend of mine, but uh, the bedroom part of it and everything was actually filmed in Jones, Jones Furniture. Furniture. <laughs> yeah. 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 So after hours, what yeah. What the yeah. river bidders? Well, we started out as the, the well, the benders, uh, <laughs> but uh, found out shortly after that that there was a uh, Hispanic band named Los Benders and it was kind of a legal problem for us to be called the benders and so we yeah. thought about the down south benders the fender benders the <laughs> everything and uh we all, all terry isbel over there and linda came up with the idea of the river benders because we we it, this band actually kind of formed uh, we're, we're all in Gallatin and everything, but I bought 10 acres of property over uh, in Lobelville, Tennessee, on the, on the Tennessee River. And uh, we go there to have our, our hunting retreats and stuff. Well, I thought I was buying it for that, but we got over there and found out that those people love music. And uh, last uh, couple years ago, Jackson and I had started just playing three pieces over there, and that's what kind of got it started. Uh, and we quit in October of the year before last uh, because I just physically could not do it in my day job and, and all the other stuff together. And we had, had, had played 117 been? shows from okay. January to October. <laughs> so, yeah. So. All right. Let's move on. That's you were at this past week. Yeah, the festival was awesome. The people that you know, I met. But let me tell you, one of the highlights of the whole trip was getting a tour. Talking to me on text. No, <laughs> was getting to go on a tour with uh, Danny and Sharon and Chip White through the Muscle Shoals Sound. The, I've never been before, and I didn't know a whole lot of the stories. Yeah, Brandon already knows all about it. And that was incredible to me to see the history and to hear those stories of all the bands yeah, and artists that came through there. You know, Jimmy Johnson, one of the original Swampers, we were talking about a while ago. Passed away, but he was the mm -hmm. producer of this. They produced yeah. my first. Is that uh, right? Series Which project. is really awesome to be able to have that experience. I was yeah. very yeah. honored and very blessed. We interviewed yeah. Jimmy mm -hmm. several times. Yeah. Marie Louie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Marie actually sang background vocals on that project yeah. with us. Really? Um, yeah. She and Ava Aldridge. Yeah, we know. Uh, and uh, Will McFarland. Years ago. Uh, played guitar on it. Uh, Gary cool. Baker and Walter Aldridge sang background vocals on it. It was uh, it was ridiculous. I mean, I, I think that at, at the, the time, at the time, the songwriters on that had accumulated for, I believe it was 88 number one hits. Mm -hmm. Now, are you talking about Michael Rock? 
Uh, no, oh, the, the, well, that was me, yeah. But there, I mean, Walt Aldridge, uh, okay. Donnie Fritz had written uh, This Must Be the Place. Yeah, I always got a lot of guys passed away. So you never yeah. saw the video? No. How many years have you been up? Never saw it. Show us that favorite, I don't favorite know shot of yeah, that. <laughs> I know. How did I miss it? Here's the favorite shot. All you shot. young guys, look up. Yeah, here's the favorite yeah. shot of the oh, whole boy. thing. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's what I like when they made it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, thanks, yeah. Jamie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was busy drinking moonshine that night. I had to do uh, yeah. Well, Gloria was only 18 that shot when she right shot there. that video, right? <laughs> that last shot of me right there was just yeah. before I fell into the Tennessee River. Right? I At did fall into the Tennessee River. And it was cold, but it, it was fun trying to swim with cowboy boots mm. on right there. Ooh. That ended the shooting for the day. Yeah, there you go. All right. That's, right. That's hilarious. That interesting. What am I doing? Yeah. Uh, I'm the state director for a company uh, called Massa out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I, uh, Travel all over the state of Alabama, traveling online. That's what brought me up here, uh, doing a lot of public speaking in behalf of the company, and then you know playing music. But try not to uh, get the coronavirus. But I tell you what, if I do get it, I also hope I get the Lyme's disease along with it because you can't have a good corona without a Lyme. <laughs> so you got I wondered where he was going. That's here. right. Hey, you're a band. Yes. Our band what? Doc Rogers band. Doc Rogers band. Y'all are. Y are Rock and roll. We're, we're, well, we're old school stuff. We have a good horn section. We got six guys, you know, on the brass section, and we do a lot of Chicago and Earth, Wind, and Fire, and mm. you know, stuff like good that. Stuff. Some old '60s Google and '70s them. stuff. Google them because you'll want to hear and see Coach up there. Yeah, you can go. Let's have some videos out. If you yeah. consider running for Senate, Tommy Tuberville. I might as well. Since Trump endorsed him, I might as well. You Coaches are jumping in there and doing. What that else there. we need to know about your lifestyle these days? Man, I tell you, I just enjoy, I miss coaching. You know, we talked about that a while ago. Uh, but life by the way, is good. yeah, it is. It's great. I want to say I'm, hello to all my friends in Ardmore. I yeah. will always have a special place in my heart for Ardmore High School in the well, community. We'll get you back up here when you can entertain us like you used to do the old days. Be glad to. Right. Be glad to, oh, buddy. We're gonna go out on this morning with the River Benders in here live, locally loaded. Y'all, hang on. Funny feeling all over me. Feels like I'm going down a dead end street.
Thank you. 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 Thank you.